Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Transport Fever Sandbox Edition. And in this episode, we are going to get to setting up a mainline freight in this map. Indeed, we are going to have a second freight line. We are not going to have an extensive freight line connecting all the cities because that's not the purpose. This is, of course, the Truck Fever series, but we are going anachronistic. Indeed. What we are going to have is a freight line that connects up Tacoma, Garden Grove, Athens, and Wichita Falls. And basically just runs back and forth along the length of the map. I considered maybe heading it out to Salinas, but we don't really need to. Yeah, about that. So we're not going to, because reasons. We're doing this line simply because, well, product here or product there, going either to or from, can come down here to Tacoma. Stuff can get over to Athens or Denton, depending on where it needs to go. Gainesville, I guess product can go this way along this chain of lines into the freight. And it can also go up to Raleigh over to Wichita. I guess at that point it won't really be hopping on. Well, some of it could. Yeah. South Bend, Raleigh to Wichita Falls. And of course this stuff will just feed down through this way. This is just to provide our map just a little bit of extra freight throughput, just because well, we got a load of goods sitting over here. 150 construction materials. First of all, Denton is 30% supplied. We have 2% and 7%. Okay, we're nowhere near any of the 60% coverage. So we are going to put some vehicles on the road. How many do we have on the RF line? We have two of those, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to just buy a bunch of them because we are going to, of course, need them. RF Denton. There we go, that'll get a lot of product moved, although we may have to pull back on the trucks from time to time. Uh, we have a little bit sitting here. Not ideal quantities, basically half a truck, truck's worth. So yeah, I bet that. Uh, that is of course the disadvantage to using the Peterbilt and Freightliners in this case. You'd have to have two separate trucks running just to haul one and two units of goods each. And it looks like the quantity of goods that we're sitting here, I put a load of trucks on this line. So yeah, it looks like that stuff got moved and this is most likely the stuff that was sitting over there. So hopefully we don't run a deficit on this line. Yep, we really cranked them up. Nice, it's a three to, three to, Oh, never mind. That's a three to two profit ratio. That's a three to, yeah, three to one ratio there. So about that. Now we have lots of steel sitting here. It's up to a production of 504. On with that said, on this map, we still don't have all the industries connected. I believe this thing is not connected. We have no lines coming into here. We do, but we don't have any vehicles. We also don't have anything coming into here. So of course, in this map, we are not, unless we get those connected up, we are of course not going to get the industrialist achievement. Not that it really matters. Now, dent and steel, that's right. I was gonna connect that way. You know what? We might as well set up this one because we are going to need a lot of steel. We're going to buy road vehicles, Freightliner Cascadia, and we are going to go uh, Denton Steel. So we will get that line operational. It'll take some time for, of course, iron ore as well as coal to filter over to here. We can get coal, or not coal, iron from here feeding into Tampa over here 
and then it can come back this way. It'll have to come all the way to Denton before returning up to the steel mill. In addition, the iron ore can also come from here into here, across over to here, there, up to there. So um, I'm thinking either is going to be a viable option. Beyond that, we have this, this iron ore, which I don't think will necessarily be utilized. When it comes to coal, we have this one over here, but uh, yeah, about that. And uh, we have coal from, I think it's Gainesville. Yep, we have coal here. So possibly if we start, maybe, coal can run up to here to the freight train. It can also take a truck there, over to there, and then over to there, so that is a thing. We also have coal over here, which could then get filtered here, up to here. Actually, uh, it'd probably go this way, and then back up to there. Although with that said, it could hop aboard the truck, or not, not the truck, the train possibly. Eh, let's get to the train. So what I've done off screen is basically set up four stations and we have the first station here. It is a curved station, although with that said, I probably didn't have to curve it like this. I could have just ran out this way because we connected onto there. I don't think I need to connect onto there. So yeah, about that. But this, of course, goes under this road I had to deconstruct this in order to fit this in. I don't think I did this on screen. Yeah, how about that? Anyway, it pops out here, although what I might just do, this is an incline. I might just dig this down when I actually build it out. We have our next freight station over here in Garden Grove. It connects directly onto the iron ore line. And we have several of these, which allow these two lines to come directly in and not have to be complicated with a bunch of trucks flowing in. And this one has, of course, three lines flowing into it. This simplifies the infrastructure. So we have the Garden Grove transfer line coming this way. And then we have the Garden Grove machines over there. And then we have the transfer line. So this simplifies things quite significantly, which is why I built it. And the same thing basically happens over here where we have this and that. Athens stone runs up to there. And we have this feeds over to Athens, to Denton. And then we have this, which just brings stuff right into the city. So about that, yeah, we've cut back on the number of goods sitting over here. We have quite a few logs sitting over here. 145, nice. Production of 200, keep it high and it'll upgrade in six months. Where is our trains right now? Vehicles, we have four of these. I'm not sure if I put them all on screen. Showed them on screen. Uh, we have, this one's coming back to Tampa Forest. This one's coming back to Tampa Forest. And this one, Seth Ben Goods, is heading over to the goods factory. And this is going to the sawmill. These can carry 70 each. And we have 46 sitting right there. What do we have for goods? 28 of 100. We are missing and plastics and or steel. So, hmm. Plastics here, over to here. Then they'd have to feed up this way and over that way. One thing we might want to do is put a few trucks. Let's just build a depot. Right about there. And we want to buy a couple freight liners. We're going to throw this on Rally to South Bend. 
since we now have a reason to really be shipping goods out to South Bend, we have, wow, okay, we have planks and for some reason logs flowing back that way. All right, I guess uh, that's one option. So, although with that said, it'd be nice if those were being supplied to the Hey, yeah, this is a nice feature here. You can see which line is using which terminal. Hmm. Yep, there's one log sitting there. So. Yeah, those will filter out. So what I am going to do. Yeah, we're going to have the two trains come back. We're not going to do anything with that for the moment. So we have this steel up and running, or at least will be up and running. We have those. So let's get to building the rail line. Now, do I want to start from here or start over here in Wichita? Well, I might as well show the Wichita station. Comes right into here. I have to build a new bridge. And uh, other than that, it pretty much is a single track over to here. Yep, about that. But with the length of potential trains, yeah, that should be fine. Do we have any signals? I do. Nice. Okay, good. So we are going to do this leg of the journey. So we just need to connect up there over to there, and we might as well run across the road. We'll just do a level crossing to make things easier. Now, if I just connect that up like that, 361K, and does it do anything wonky with the tracks? Of course it does, right there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to destroy that because we do not like wonky tracks. Well, don't know about you, but I don't like wonky tracks. I spend a little bit of time riding the M300 because my goal with this series as well is to do a bonus episode beyond the 42 that we are going to be doing for this series. And we are going to be doing a ride along episode. So I've been riding the M300. I got the Salinas to St. Paul, St. Paul to Thornton and the Thornton to South Bend line. I did one pass over it and I fixed any train issues, I fixed any weird looking bridges, I fixed any other connections just so that it would look nice. Added a few additional trees, that sort of stuff. So that, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have to send so much work later on doing it. I have officially wrapped up recording of the Sandbox series. And so there are going to be, other than the ride along episode, which I will be working on in the near future, there won't be any more of the, of the Sandbox series to do. Although with that said, I have plans for a new series coming up transport fever will continue it's always going to continue and yeah how about that and we are going to put crossover right there one there one there let's throw one right about here and connect that into there we're going to build the signals. Right there. One right there. And that should be good. So we got that first leg of the journey done. We got a crossover. So what we are going to do is we are going to set up a new line. Although first we are going to want to, uh, yep. Yeah. Let's just build a depot. And yeah, looks 
fine. We need a train depot. We're gonna say no to catenaries because reasons. The mogul doesn't use catenaries, so we don't need catenaries. Let's just smooth that out because reasons. Yeah, about that. Now we are going to buy the 260 mogul. And we are going to run. For now, we are going to run. Uh, two boxcars. We're going to go two gondolas. Two tank cars. And two state cars. 97 meter train. And we are going to set this to a new line. Which is going to go from. Wichita over to Athens and this is going to be the TF main line also called TFM but uh, yeah Wichita to for now Athens although with that said why is this called Athens Freight Station number one. Just, just should be called Athens Freight. And this over here, which of all falls freight. That's fine. All right, so we got that train. Let's speed her up and take a look at our new beast. Indeed. Awesome. So now let's get rolling. And actually, before we continue, what I'd like to do is just take a look at passenger numbers. Oh, wow. 82 and 80 for the M300 Salinas to St. Paul. And as you can see, our Salinas to St. Paul trains are running with two wagons each. So that's a thing. Wow. We have 47 and 53. So I'm almost thinking 52 and 32. We could almost run three. And over here we got 70 and 25. And over here we have Celine St. Paul 23. Hmm. Very tempting to do our place out. We got three billion dollars in the bank. <laughs> 114 million profit in 2048. It wasn't really doing a whole lot. We got 10 million in construction costs. We got 3.66 million in new vehicles. Looks like an M300 was replaced out. Our freight train only cost 2.71 million dollars. We had running costs of 104 million and income of 232 million. Nice. Property maintenance of 1.13 million dollars. And yeah, about that. Water made us 21.2K since it got set up. Do we have any passengers at all? Yes, we do. We got 10 people. Nice. And over here, we don't got any. All right. That's sad. And there's one there. Although with that said, well, that one's carrying two people towards Denton. And yeah, if I wanted to, I could probably do a Tampa to say Athens, but nah, nah. Although before I, oh, we should, oh, is this going to mess things up? Um, it might mess things up, so we're not going to do anything with that. All right, let's get to building the second segment, which is, of course, Athens to Garden Grove. And my plan was to come across like that. Uh, we are going to want to maybe bridge over. Let's 
let's bring the first of all contours we're starting here at 107 and we are ending at 120 so it's a slight incline so for now we are just going to stay flat and that'll of course give us a little bit of yep that'll be fine and now this is the right side of the track we're gonna come right over to here and do that yep that's fine although with that said let's just pull that back and I am going to just pull this back as well maybe once more there we go and then I'm going to definitely want to do some smoothing but I will <laughs> Do that after. I can hear the comments. No, don't do the smoothing right now. Set up the line. <laughs> anyway, let's let time tick just because reasons. And then we'll check to see how the line is doing. Although with that said, it'll take time for things to, uh, we are gonna set up a signal right about there. We're gonna do one right there. Uh, going to do one right there, and actually, I shouldn't have done that because we need to replace the bridge. Yeah, about that. <sighs> Bother. going to do is bring this over then don't bridge pillar collision it um, let's bring this like that I'm going to do a little bit of smoothing here. And now, how does that look? Oh, how about over here? Let's see if we can do a little bit of flat ground. And then the bridge. Oh, that's even worse. I wish it would sink it right into the ground. They can make these really big. Like, look at that. Yet for some reason, it's at the center of the road. So the ground slopes down from the center of the road. You have this pillar that's sticking out of the ground, which is freaking annoying. Uh, we want to, actually, yeah, we're gonna sink that down. If we can sink it below the... the ground. Hey! Yep, we're gonna do that. All right, I'm going to also use, uh, it doesn't really matter. Perfect. There's a pro tip. If you want your bridges to look a little bit nicer than they are built by default, use the smoothen tool, the lower train tool, to 
bring down where the center of the bridge would be. Nice. And then use the smoothing tool to bring it up. So that you have a bridge that looks nice. It will not affect the game at all in any way, but uh, so let's let that run. one of our M3-800s. Now, one of the concerns I have with this, if we take a look at the... Oh, oh no, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say these goods are uh, being loaded on the station, but nope. If we take a look at this, the ticket price per kilometer is one 47k per kilometer with the not that with the freight liners it is 116k one concern of course is that our freight line this freight line will not get used because of course cargo prefers cheap in this case the trucks are cheaper so this might be a fool's errand, but we're going to try anyway. Who knows? It could work. Or it might be a complete failure. All right, so we have the bridge here, signal here. All right, actually we haven't even, yeah, we haven't even connected up the rest of the road. Although I don't want it sweeping like that. Can I have the snap point? Oh, seriously. All right, about that. Now, can I get this put back in? Yes, I can. All right, about that. Now that that is connected, we can resume time. And yeah, I'm gonna to get to that later. So we have one set of signals there. We have signals there. I'm going to put another set of signals right here. is an M300 just over there. All right, so I had a little bit of technical issues, but uh, it's been resolved. I lost a little bit of what I did, but not all that much. It was only about a minute or so. So what we would like to do, I did check on the Wichita freight line. We don't got anything here, how sad. And now the train is over here it's carrying nothing it's on its way to athens freight what we want to do is recolor it that although what we would like to do is we have that over to there now we want to connect up a garden grove so right there and now we want it to return back to athens freight that will extend the frequency to 11 minutes. It was six minutes. I did check that. Uh, yeah, so what we are going to want to do, wow, $2.69 million with the moguls. Awesome. So what we would like to do right now, are we going to, let's add another train on the line. We're gonna go with the mogul. We are going to go with, what was the config I did on this? We did two boxcars. We did two gondolas. Uh, 
Um, uh, those. Okay. Bought the right one. Uh, we're gonna run two of those. We are going to run two of those, and we are going to run two of those. We're gonna set this on the main line, Wichita to Athens. Although with that said, let's let that run. This is now Wichita to Garden Grove. Although very soon it'll be the Wichita to Tacoma line. So yeah, about that. Next up, we want to continue on up here to Tacoma. And so pretty much what I'm going to want to do is start building from over here. And this is pretty much a straight stretch up. Let's see how far it'll take me. Uh, where is the snap point? Snap point? Or is that just too far for a snap point? Right there. And so that is what it wants to do for me. There's a reason why I ran kind of up the slope. Oh, that's annoying. All right, so what we are probably going to have to do, we're going to have to force it up. I don't kind of want to force it up as much. Do not want uh, yeah we're gonna come across here we want to force it up said ideally I would like to cut into the ground so we are going to do that and now we just want to double track let's let time tick and what I'm probably going to do is wrap up the episode soon I have this planned, I don't think I had anything else specifically planned. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to pull this back, say about here, and we are going to go further down. Uh, no. All right about that. So let's just smooth that out. And first, yeah, this is all the track to there. Uh, no, N please don't train lame collision. Fine. What we are going to do is come from Really? How did I get this through in the first place? All right, doing it from this end seems to work. We could dig it down a little bit further. You know what, that wouldn't actually be that bad. Sure, we're gonna gouge even more. like that.
Yeah, but then I have to go over there. Huh. I might be making a, a valley here. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. And now what we want to do is set up the signals. Let's let time run. And so we have a signal there. We are going to put, let's see, signal say right about there. Signal there, signal there, signal there. We're gonna have one at the front of the tunnel and maybe one right there. Although I kind of want slightly more frequent signals. All depends on how many trains we are actually going to be having running. Another reason why this train line might be an epic fail is of course because of the frequency of the trucks. The price contributes as well. What we may have to do is break up or disconnect the Tacoma to Garden Grove, the Garden Grove to Athens and the Athens to <laughs> Wichita truck lines just so that we can give our rail line an opportunity to actually get utilized although that's ideally not what I'd want to do and there we go coming into Garden Grove and so on our train we have oh nice seven logs we have seven coal seven iron seven or two construction materials and two fuel nice all right well it is getting utilized so that's the thing we have 19 more iron ore there wow and over here we have three coal so the coal must have got thrown on over here we have nine construction materials, four steel, and one food waiting. So what we are going to do, we are going to throw another train on the line. And we did boxcars first, gondolas next. I did the tank cars after that, and stake cars. We are going to set this to mainline Wichita to Garden Grove. So it looks like... Even though freight prefers cheap, then it's going to be willing to take the train. And our current frequency is four minutes, but of course we are going to be, yep, we're going to be extending the line, which we will do right now. Garden Grove over to Rally. We're gonna come back here to Garden Grove Freight, Athens, and then back to the third line in Wichita Falls. And we now have a lot of steel being produced here. Wow. All right, well, we are going to add a few freight liners to Wichita Steel. And we have few accumulation of items but this will definitely help to supply a little bit more throughput of goods all right about that so this train is hauling that stuff back Let's ride it. And we are going to speed up speed two. Another mobile. I'm gonna 
this way. Ooh. Oh, that's right. I had to go down. Plus, I want to bring the uh, mo the M300 line up to come above our new freight line. And this, I might want to. Um, is there any way for me to get that up in time? And now we have anything over here? Nope. Unless we drop, pick some more stuff up. Not that I can see. Let's ride on the way to Wichita. <laughs> oh, the trucks. They're faster than the Bogle. Although with that said, the train doesn't have to necessarily wait for traffic. Unless there's too many trains in line, which can happen. Yeah, about that. Anyway, at this point in time, what I'm going to do is end the episode here. And we will continue off with more Transport Fever, Truck Fever Edition. Riding the 260 Mogul Freight Line. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott Frisbee Gaming. And as always, have a good day.